they're at the post. They're off. Afidi broke alertly from the far outside. Miss T. Dennis is closing up quickly in the center and down at the rail, Smartalma. Smartalma reaches up for the lead over Miss T. Dennis. Prone to ruckus is coming on third, just between his fourth. Country combo fifth. Jump the road is sixth. Afidi is seventh. Down at the rail in eighth is Magical Shoes. Francis Carolyn ninth. Muskoka Memory is tenth. Burgundy Dancer is eleventh. Regent God is twelfth. Dear Lily is thirteenth. And Trickable is fourteenth. They run into the far turn. Prone to Ruckus has the lead. Smart Thomas towards her inside. Jump the road is right there in country combo. Just a length off Prone to Ruckus's lead. They move to the quarter pole. Prone to Ruckus maintains that advantage. Jump the road is up to join her now. Down at the rail, Smart Thomas is third. Country combo fourth. And Burgundy Dancer is charging in the center of the track. And they're coming through the stretch. Jump the road and Prone to Ruckus. And they're being joined by Burgundy Dancer. Smart Helma is fourth. They're deep in the stretch. Prone to Ruckus is giving it her all. But Burgundy Dancer is coming flying on the outside. Here's the wire. And Burgundy Dancer makes her initial lifetime start a winning one. Prone to Ruckus second and jump the road. Finish third. the post. They're off. Away well in the center was Burgundy Dancer. From the outside, Princess Norcliffe, along with Ain't That Wicket, and towards the rail, Victoria Girl. They run for the first turn, and Burgundy Dancer reaches up for the lead. She leads Princess Norcliffe by length. Victoria Girl is towards the inside third, and Ain't That Wicked is fourth. Femme Danaskra is fifth. On the outside is Charming Spring. Viola picking up fillies quickly now. Then we have Calico Fling. Down at the rail, Chateau d'Irlande. Diana Derby. Regents of Glory. Cote Nord. Smartly yours, and the trailer is Savaging Princess. They continue down the back stretch, and Burgundy Dancer leads it by three quarters of a length over Viola, who has come on to be second. Ain't That Wicked is in between horses, and Princess Norcliffe is going well in fourth. Femme Danaskra is fifth, Charming Spring, Victoria Girl, and Calico Fling, Regent's Glory, Diana Derby, Smartly yours, Chateau d'Irlande, Savaging Princess, and Cote Nord. Three furlongs to run. Burgundy Dancer is going to try to go wire to wire. She leads it by two lengths. Coming quickly at the rail now is Femme Danaskra. Princess Norcliffe is right there along with Ain't That Wicked. Viola has about five lengths to make up and they're inside the quarter pole. Burgundy Dancer by two. Femme Danaskra and Ain't That Wicked. Down along the inside, closing quickly now, is Victoria Girl and Ain't That Wicked is up on the outside to challenge Burgundy Dancer. They're inside the furlong pole. Ain't that wicked and Burgundy Dancer. Victoria Girl is third and they're coming through the stretch. Burgundy Dancer has found some more. Ain't that wicked right at their neck and Burgundy Dancer remains undefeated. Ain't that wicked second and Victoria Girl finished third.
at the post. They're off. They all came away well. On the extreme outside, Bell Queen goes for and gets the lead. That's Burgundy Dancer in second. Port of Departure towards the inside is third. And Chateau d'Irlande is fourth. They run through the clubhouse turn. Bell Queen now leads it by a length and a quarter over Burgundy Dancer. Then there's a further length and a half. And up on the outside, Chateau d'Irlande is now third. Port of Departure is fourth, about three and a half lengths off the lead. They move down the back stretch. Bell Queen stretches her advantage to two lengths over Burgundy Dancer. Then a further two. Chateau d'Irlande is on the outside. Port of Departure towards the inside now gains third. And Chateau d'Irlande is relegated to fourth. They ran a quarter in 24 and three and a half in 48 and four. And Stuart Elliott is going to try to take Bell Queen wire to wire, but Burgundy Dancer is asked to pick it up now, and she's closing in at her. Then a gap of two and a half lengths to Port of Departure in third, and Chateau d'Irlande is fourth. Duffy sends Burgundy Dancer to the front now. She leads it by a neck. Bell Queen is trying to find some more. Then a gap of three to Port of Departure, Chateau d'Irlande is fourth, and they move to the top of the stretch. Burgundy Dancer has the lead. Bell Queen is second, that's Port of Departure third, and fourth is Chateau d'Irland, and they have a furlong to the wire. That's Burgundy Dancer by a comfortable three lengths. Port of Departure is now second. In between horses is Chateau d'Irland. This one's all over. Burgundy Dancer is going to win it easily. It's close for place. Chateau d'Irland gets second, Port of Departure third, and Bell Queen finish fourth. They're off. Why not Willie broke well. Exclusive Island in the center. And closing up quickly now to take the lead as expected is Cool Baby. They leave the shoot. Cool Baby leads it by a length and a half over Smart Halo. Exclusive Island is now third, two and a half lengths off the lead. Burgundy Dancer gaining ground in between horses. Then we have Why Not Willie. And the trailer is a comic copy about eight lengths off the lead. They ran a quarter in 22 and 1, and Cool Baby leads it by a length and a half. Smart Halo is right there along with Exclusive Island, and Burgundy Dancer is stalking the leaders in fourth. Then we have Why Not Willie, and the trailer is Comic Copy. Exclusive Island is up quickly on the outside to challenge Cool Baby now. As they move inside the quarter pole, Burgundy Dancer begins to launch her bid, and they move to the top of the stretch. Exclusive Island by a diminishing head. Burgundy Dancer up to join her now. The third is a Smart Halo. And towards the inside is Why Not Willie. Burgundy Dancer on the outside. Exclusive Island towards the inside. And Burgundy Dancer wins her fourth in her last five. Exclusive Island was second. Smart Halo was third. And Why Not Willie finished fourth. the post. They're off in the Duchess Stakes. The stars in my pocket broke well on the extreme outside. Du Regard is closing up and towards the inside, Very Best Friend as they leave the chute. Very Best Friend now has the lead by length and a half. Closing up in second now is Arc Royal. Entry mate Du Regard alongside of her Delta Slew. Moving swiftly in between fillies now. Then stars in my pocket, Burgundy Dancer, Exclusive Island, and Chateau d'Irlande. 
They continue towards the far turn. Very best friend. Leads it by a neck over Delta Slu. Arc Royal is third, just two lengths off the lead. Burgundy Dancer going well at the rail in fourth. They ran a quarter in 22 and two and half a mile in 45 and one. Stars in my pocket asked to keep up in fifth. Chateau d'Irlande is sixth. Du Regard is seventh and Exclusive Island is eighth. They move over to the top of the stretch, three of them battling for the lead. Very best friend, Delta Slu, Arc Royal, Burgundy Dancer sets sail in the center of the track. They're a furlong from the wire, Delta Slu by a head. Burgundy Dancer gaining ground with every stride. In between horses, Arc Royal. Burgundy Dancer on the outside now takes the lead and they're coming to the finish. And Burgundy Dancer wins the Duchess Stakes, finishing second, Arc Royal. Delta Slu was third and very best friend finished fourth. At the post. They're off. Termigan out for the early lead. Gaining ground quickly on her outside stately treasure and towards her inside a Delta Slew as they run into the first turn. Stately treasure on the extreme outside, Delta Slew on the inside. Lords and ladies making up some ground now is third and Termigan is fourth. Burgundy Dancer is fifth, three and a half lengths off the lead. Du Regard is sixth, and Majestic Heroine is seventh. They start down the backstretch. Delta Slew on the inside, Stately Treasure on the outside. They have a little more than a half mile to run. And Lords and Ladies is third. Burgundy Dancer a closer fourth. On the outside, Du Regard is fifth. Termigan is sixth, and Majestic Heroine is seventh. And they run into the far turn. Delta Slu now has a clear lead of a length and a half. Lords and Ladies is second. Burgundy Dancer is third. Stately Treasure backing up. Termigan is fourth. Due regard under urging in fifth. Majestic Heroine is a sixth. Then Stately Treasure is now seventh. Delta Slu leads them over to the top of the stretch. Burgundy Dancer coming on, and so is Termigan. They're deep in the stretch. Burgundy Dancer by a neck, now half a length. On the outside, Termigan. And on the inside, Delta Slu, Burgundy Dancer, wins her sixth of seven lifetime starts. Termigan second, Delta Slu was third, and Du Regard finished fourth.